friend of mine woke up one morning to see his pillow full of hair. He didn't think much about it until it started happening every single day. He was losing chunks of his hair on a daily basis and he began feeling really unattractive. He loved his hair and he wasn't willing to give up on it. He went to his doctor and was diagnosed with alopecia, which in other words is baldness caused by his own immune system attacking his hair follicles. His doctor prescribed him with corticosteroids, which are anti-inflammatory drugs that are prescribed for autoimmune diseases. My friend began drug therapy and after three months on the treatment, he gained a lot of weight and acne began covering his face. He was feeling bad to begin with, so with his new situation, he was feeling even worse. His doctor then prescribed him with uh, other medical alternatives, but they caused him itching and redness and made him feel really, really bad. So after a year, my friend was entirely bald. He lost all of his hair and he had almost lost all of his hope as well. But as a very last option, he decided to change his diet and after four months of adhering to the new diet, he was not only feeling better, but his hair was actually growing back again. It seemed like a miracle to him. I know myself the power of nutrition that it has over almost every aspect of our life, but when I saw the results, they were completely outstanding. We both cried of excitement when his hair completely grew back in a matter of months. As with other autoimmune disorders, the immune system, which is supposed to attack and destroy foreign substances when they enter the body or cells that are unhealthy, for some reason recognizes the person's own cells and tissues as being foreign and attacks and destroys the person's own tissues. Why the body attacks its own cells and tissues is still unknown, although there are a few hypotheses. But what is known is that autoimmune diseases are on the rise and they are a major health problem. Statistics show that in the United States, 23.5 million people are suffering from autoimmune diseases today, which is more than heart disease. But actually, these numbers are much higher than the statistics show because the statistics only consider 24 autoimmune diseases out of the suggested 65 diseases which scientists consider to be of autoimmune basis. Now, people who have autoimmune diseases are also at increased risk for infections. So what exactly happens in an autoimmune disease? Well, in health, the immune system's role is to protect our body from foreign substances like harmful bacteria and viruses. It's also responsible for destroying cells in our body when they become sick or lose control like cancer cells. The immune system also becomes activated when we eat foods that we are intolerant to or allergic to and when we consume unnatural processed foods. The immune system becomes suppressed when we consume foods with large amounts of pesticides or preservatives which contain toxic metals such as cadmium, lead, or mercury. When the immune system is over or underactive, it may not be able to deal with the workload. And this is when we see autoimmune diseases. This is why diet can play an important role in helping. Why? Because our diet either supports the immune cells or actually damages them. Let's have a look at the best food practices to adopt to support your immune system as well as prevent hair loss and even support hair growth when suffering from alopecia. Number one, reduce the amount of animal protein consumed and eat vegetable sources of protein instead like lentils, beans, nuts and seeds, and even green leaves. In my book titled The Gorilla Diet, which is based on my research into the ideal diet for humans, I wrote a whole chapter on the theory behind reducing meat products in your diet. But another study reveals that, poten that the potential reason behind meat's link to chronic inflammatory immune responses is in meat's excessive amounts of a special sugar called new 5 gc which is found in beef, pork, lamb, and bison meats. Because humans don't produce this sugar, the body treats it as a foreign substance, setting off a mild but continuous immune response. So the second food to consume is 
foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, but from non-animal sources. We don't really need to consume animal sources or fish products in order to get sufficient omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids into our diet. The more of these we consume, the higher our risk of suffering from the common Western world diseases. In fact, fish produces these fats only once they feed on plants that produce omega-3 fatty acids. The omega-3 in fish oils is actually produced from plant-based products. The healthiest omega-3 fatty acid rich foods include flax seeds, chia seeds, beans, tofu, squash, walnuts, as well as kale and spinach and even algae. These foods can convert in our bodies to the precise quantity of omega-3 fatty acids that our body needs and no more. So the third tip is to completely remove sugar-rich refined foods and fried foods from your diet. These are pro-inflammatory foods in their nature. And in the Gorilla Diet book, in the second of the 16 healthy dietary guidelines, I talk about how pro-inflammatory foods promote cytokine and eicosanoid production, which activate other immune cells and promote inflammation. By significantly reducing the amount of pro-inflammatory foods we consume, we achieve similar results just as taking anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin and ibuprofen. These pro-inflammatory foods include highly processed and refined foods, and, and these foods are just not assimilated by the body and cannot fill the body the body's nutritional needs, and they actually just burden and uh, burden the body with excess toxins instead. So the fourth tip is to consume plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables, which are rich in nutrients that play a crucial role in the development and expression of immune responses. Nutrient deficiencies cause immunosuppression and increase susceptibility to infection and disease. Pay special attention to vitamin C, which promotes phagocytic activity and supports healthy T cell function, two of the cells of the immune system. Vitamin C also provides antioxidant activity to support healing at times of inflammation and excellent sources of vitamin C include broccoli, kale, leafy green vegetables, asparagus, bell peppers, and of course fruit, especially citrus fruit. The fat-soluble vitamins A, E, and K, and D are also important, and the deficiency of these vitamins impairs antibody function and T-cell activity. Vitamin A and E are also important antioxidants, which along with other antioxidants support a healthy immune system. They also support a healthy um, gut lining, which is responsible for selecting which substances enter our body and pass through the digestive lining and which do not. Very important. Also consume foods rich in B vitamins like nuts, carrots, and green leaves, and tomatoes. Deficiency in the B and also grains, of course, and uh, whole grains, of course, and root vegetables. Deficiency in B vitamins results in reduced levels of antibody production and impaired T cell functioning, as well as decreased levels of T cells and reduced phagocytic activity. So we also want to remove dairy products, all dairy products from your diet completely. Cow's milk has a different protein molecule than that found in human milk, and cows have casein, which is their major protein, which is a much larger molecule than the whey protein found in human milk. And this big molecule can damage our digestive tract and lead to an immune reaction. Once you follow these guidelines, you will also lose weight which plays a very important role in supporting healthy functioning of the immune system. So that was tip number seven. So once you change your diet, you change your health destiny and reduce the effects of inflammation and the autoimmune disease as well on your livelihood and on your self-esteem. So thank you very much for watching.